create a product. Pretty straightforward, right? Well, after trying many online money making methods, I have to admit this has been by far the most profitable one for me. And by profitable, I mean time and effort invested and returns for that time. Even this course itself is a product. So there you have it, productception. So how does it work? Well, my main focus here will be on digital products, but before diving in, I want to cover a bit physical products as well and how they compare with digital ones. Well, personally, I'm a very strong supporter for digital products. I've seen plenty of physical ones succeed, so if that is your dream, don't give up. Just look at products on Indiegogo and how successful those companies are in getting funding and making their dream a reality. But the reason I love digital products is because they scale your effort. And what do I mean by that? Well, take this course for example. I create it once and I can reach with it tens, hundreds, thousands of people. In fact, all the courses I created have reached on all the platforms I sell them on over 10,000 people. In comparison to offering a service, the number of people and businesses you can impact is on a whole different level. And the time I allocate after a product is created is just a few minutes, sometimes a few hours a day. And that is because I want to. Most people don't even allocate that much. However, my personal vision on this matter is that you need to constantly update your product, interact with people that bought it and help them out on a personal level. And if I have to spend 10 minutes in a call with someone to clarify something, although I don't get any form of instant reward for it, it's worth for me in the long run. Again, this is a personal decision and many other people don't look at this the same way. But getting back to the advantages of products, another big one is that they give you more value to your existing business. I run a marketing agency as a main business and my social media course gets me about 1-2 clients each week from people that watch the course. So besides actual sales, they get more business. The same can be applied to every industry, from carpentry to fitness. And another core benefit of product creation is the connections you get and all the other opportunities that you are exposed to by reaching more people. Okay, okay, so what do you need to start? Well, it all depends on what type of product you want to create. But whatever format, the main requirement is the know-how on the topic you are discussing. Nobody is going to listen to me if I create a course on personal fitness when I'm 15 kilos overweight. But if I'd lose those extra kilos and be in perfect shape and maybe partner up with a professional trainer, then that would be a totally different story. Now that we covered the know-how credibility problem, it's time to move on to format. A product has many shapes and forms. It can be something as simple as an ebook, an audiobook, a video training program, software, a web app, in essence, something that solves a problem and doesn't require your time to do it. And as always, the more effort and resources required to create it, the higher the value that product will have. So keep that in mind as well. So when can you see results? This all depends on when you start counting the days and what your product is. If your product is software, then development can take a few months. But if, let's say you're an accountant that wants to offer potential clients a crash course in accounting in the form of an ebook, it can take you as little as a few days, maybe even one single day. And once the product is done, depending on how efficient your marketing is, you can see results overnight. So what are the potential earnings? It all depends on what the purpose of your product is. If it is to support your existing business, then it can get you more clients. If it's another income source, it will generate as much as you put effort into it. I'll give you an example of how one of my existing courses is doing. It's a course on copywriting, when I do absolutely zero to promote it. And the only exposure it gets is from the marketplaces on Udemy, Skillshare and other online training websites. It generates about three, four hundred dollars each month. When I put in a few hours of work, create a small campaign, send out an email, I see an instant spike of a couple of hundred dollars. And if you're asking why I don't constantly do this, well, the problem is simple. The more time I spend on promoting existing courses, the less I spend on creating new ones. So I have to juggle these two activities. But let's say you have an ebook you want to sell. You have a landing page for it, you start promoting it, 
and you want to make a thousand dollars. If you price the ebook at ten dollars, that means you need to sell a hundred copies. So let's presume one in a hundred visitors becomes a client. That means you only need to focus on getting 10,000 people to that landing page and the more relevant the traffic, the more sales you get and the higher the percentage of people that will buy from those who visit the page. But let's go on to the most important part of the video. Where do you start? Well, a quick action list that you can follow is this one. Step number one, decide. What is your product? What problem does it solve? Who is your target customer? Step number two, resources. What do you need to have it done? What do you have? What do you lack? How can you get what you lack? Step number three, build it. Be it an ebook, a video course, an app, a book, get to work. Step number four, get in front of people who are your potential customers on forums, through social media, at live events, hustle. And that's it. Now go. Become the most successful product creator and marketer that the world has ever seen. Good luck.